What is up everybody? I am Josh and this is Help HQ. Today we're going to be talking about the Netgear Orbi RBR750 mesh system. So this is a Wi-Fi 6 mesh system. It's tri-band so it comes with the router and two satellites and then you're also going to get obviously the power adapters and the ethernet cable and that's about all you get in the box. And then the setup on this is fairly easy. One would think there's an Orbi app you can download on your iOS or Android device. And in theory, uh, if everything works as it should, right, the, the app will walk you through setting everything up. If for whatever reason it doesn't work, it has fail safes, meaning they put these little QR codes. I don't know if you can see that. So they put QR codes on the devices, both the router and then the satellites have that on there so that you can manually add them if need be. Um, in my case, so I had all kinds of problems trying to set this up. It was probably the worst experience I've ever had setting a router up in my entire life. And I'm old. So <laughs> yeah, the app did not work for me at all. I even tried plugging in via ethernet using a PC. Uh, and, and going that route. So the router has a web address you can go to. They say, you know, like orbilogin.com, um, depending on the model that you have, but it's no different than just going to the router's IP address. Um, so I got that far, right? And then I couldn't get the landing page to load. It just kept saying that it couldn't connect to the router. And that was both in the app and in like when I was trying to do it over a PC, like it was the most frustrating thing ever because it would detect the router initially, it would allow me to update the firmware on the router, and then when I tried to actually set it up and detect the different satellites and configure everything and like rename my SSID, it would just say, we're sorry, uh, it appears you're connected to your old gateway and that it basically gave me a message that said that it couldn't find the router. And I spent literally an entire day trying to figure out what was wrong with this. And it was the most frustrating thing. It was so frustrating, in fact, that I didn't record any of it. I didn't even think to record any of it, which sucks for you guys, but trust me, it was horrible. So what you should be seeing right about now is it's just running through the actual setup process as if it did work properly. So after I got everything set up, um, which took like probably five or six hard resets and each router and each satellite, they have this tiny little reset button on the back that you can stick like a little safety clip or pin or whatever in there. And then that will reset it back to factory defaults. I did that so many times trying to get this set up. And then eventually I was able to get it set up using a PC, the app never worked for me during the setup process at all. Um, the PC piece, it was really wonky, but I got through it and I was able to actually set it up. And then the app, finally, after I had had everything configured, the app was able to detect everything. So fast forward. So speed tests on this when it was working well, uh, the speed tests were good. So I got roughly 538 megs down um, and it was like 82 up, uh, somewhere in there. And that was using a satellite. So that was me being connected to a satellite that was connected to the router via Wi-Fi. So well, I was using Wi-Fi backhaul, uh, no ethernet except for from the modem to the main router. And that was my speed. And we have T-Mobile home internet. And so on average, I get about 680 megabits per second down if I'm plugged in with an ethernet cable. So getting that 538 is actually not, not that bad. I think that that is because the router is using a tri-band dedicated five gigahertz backhaul as opposed to a dual band where you're sharing the, the five gigahertz band for the backhaul and your Wi-Fi devices. Moving on, so that was inside the house, right? Um, at my furthest point, I'm using a satellite. Outside, I got l much lower speeds I tested it in both my backyard and my, uh, I tried to go as far away from my house, going out my front door as possible. And I'll put those clips up right now. 
Okay, so I'm in my backyard and we're gonna try and do a range test and this is about the furthest point away from the router I can get in my backyard. So let's see how well it does. We're gonna walk around now to the front and see how far away from the house we can get before it cuts out. Okay, so this is all the farther that we made it and I'll try and flip this over and show you guys. So, not great, but I guess if you're just hanging in the front yard, it'd be okay. Let's see what the speed test looks like. And I know it looks like I have full service, but if I take two steps backward, it, it drops out entirely. And yeah. So that didn't work very well. So one of the biggest problems that I had with this system was that the internet would just cut out. It was the weirdest thing. Like when it worked, it worked great. Like it, aside from the setup process being absolute garbage, in my opinion, when the system worked, I felt like it worked really well. It was fast. It seemed reliable. Um, although we'll, we'll touch on that here. The internet would just randomly go out. So we would still have Wi-Fi connected to all of our devices, but the, the problem was there was literally no internet. You couldn't go to a web page, you couldn't load a video on YouTube, you couldn't use any kind of web streaming. It, there was no actual internet connection. And it was to the point where like my wife and kids are both complaining about it. And it seemed to always happen like midday and I didn't really believe them until I reset everything. And, uh, and then like over a weekend, we, I was home and we had the exact same problem. I never figured it out. I actually opened up a couple troubleshoot tickets. So I opened up one trying to figure out how to get the thing set up through Netgear. And I opened up another troubleshoot ticket for the poor wireless connectivity and how it would cut out. And we never really found a resolution. There was some steps that uh, Netgear gave me uh, to try and fix it. And initially it seemed like that actually helped to where instead of it literally cutting out the day I hooked the router up, it would work for like maybe a couple of days and then cut out. And I'll put all those fix actions in a different video. So if someone else is having similar problems, you could try it and see that if it works for you. Uh, but there's no guarantees on that. It didn't work for me. And I don't know if maybe I just got a bad setup or if all Netgear Orbi devices are like this, but like I have had more problems with this setup than I've ever had with any other Wi-Fi mesh system or router or whatever. Like, I mean, it's crazy. I do really like the web interface on this. So you have like every setting you could ever want. Um, so all of us nerds, you can configure your heart out, right? And, and that's actually pretty rare for a mesh system. Most mesh systems kind of keep it more of like the Google Eero platform where you get like a little bit of tweaking here and there, but not really much. They keep it kind of all automated. And so, and like TP-Link does that, for example. And I don't necessarily love that, but I just couldn't get this thing to work right. So uh, for what it's worth, I, I personally do not recommend buying this, but it's up to you guys. It's your money, obviously. It's not cheap. This is definitely not a cheap system. The Netgear Orbi, is probably one of the more expensive Wi-Fi mesh systems in comparison to like TP-Link and other brands. Uh, the one thing that I would note is that I think Amazon 
actually sells like a, a renewed version of the system. So, you know, I don't know what you'll get with that. Let me know down in the comments if you guys are using a Netgear Orbi system, because um, I'm really interested to find out if you guys are having similar issues that I had with the RBR 750. Um, it just baffles me. I've, like I said, I've never had such a, a major issue with a router before. So anyway, just hit me up down there. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Smash that bell icon so you get notified anytime I post a new video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.